What's up guys, Eric here. Welcome to Rant and Review. In this video, we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, Episode 19, the finale. It's titled Immortal Combat, so careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with Supergirl this season. You've been warned, let's get into it. Wait, before we get into it, in case you missed it, um, I did my review for the Batwoman finale. It went up much earlier today, so click over in the corner here if you have not seen that yet. Go over there, keep an open mind, please keep an open mind watching the video, uh, but it's over there for you guys to check out so please go and check out that review when you get a moment but look we're talking about supergirl this was a smashed episode smushed together uh two different episodes that they had to piece together to make this finale and i think it worked i think it worked i'm pleasantly surprised with what happened with supergirl this season and how some of the things got wrapped up i got a ton a ton of notes over here which is unusual. Typically, I don't take a lot of notes for Supergirl, but I have a lot because there's so much going on uh, in this finale episode. So uh, let's go ahead and just dive into it. Finally, we got some Leviathan stuff. One of my biggest complaints so far with the show is that Leviathan wasn't very present. It wasn't there. They weren't in our faces. We got to see them in action, although we didn't get a lot of description on the characters. We did get to see them. Uh, the VFX, not the best, not the best at all, but I did think it was cool seeing the, these characters face off against our heroes. It felt very rushed. There was a couple of times where I'm like, wait a minute, we that moved very quickly, but I realized that we had a lot to get through and you know, I'm not giving them passes on that. I'm not because I didn't give the other shows passes on things to try and speed up the process or missed opportunities. But I do think that what we got was appropriate. It was enough. Uh, there's that VFX CGI. We'll get to that a little bit later. Um, so the downside to the Leviathan thing though, leading up to this episode, I still feel like it was a messy story and this week it didn't really clear up like everything. Like, I think it's way too complicated and it still feels like there's some questions that were unanswered, just left on the cutting room floor. Maybe that was done on purpose so they can do it next season. I don't know. Maybe it was meant for the last few episodes, but it definitely felt so messy. And that was one of my complaints about the Batwoman episode was things just felt very unfinished, unpolished. It's like the edges were left ragged. And I don't know if that had to do with Lex being in the season or if it just was poorly written we've had other seasons where shows have had issues like this uh season three of the flash is a season where i think it had a really strong story and then it just dropped the ball at the end and so i think that's kind of what happened here but i was glad to see them you know like at least go back and, and show these characters facing off against our heroes and so we did get some action there uh, we got a wrap up for the VR lens storyline. I think this was the weakest thing about season five. Le Leviathan was messy, but the VR storyline was very heavily integrated into the season. Um, and the humor wasn't lost on me that uh, at a time in our lives when, when everyone is staying home and we're relying on the internet and video chat to communicate with loved ones and to stay connected with our work, with our friends, with our family and stuff like that, that Supergirl was in the midst of telling us a story about the dangers of living our lives in a virtual world. Look, it's not their fault. It's not. <laughs> it was just untimely, to say the least. So the fact that this was the narrative that they had for this season, I never saw like the upside to technology. Apparently, there was supposed to be a balance, like this is the good parts and this is the bad parts. They didn't do a really good job, I think, of showing us the good parts of technology. It was mostly the evil stuff. And I think, like, you know, uh, just the whole storyline couldn't have come at a worse time, in my opinion. And I think Supergirl's speech in that VR world was not the best. Like, I think it could have been a lot better but um, Supergirl is a character that inspires people, and I think that's what they were going for with the speech. And so I'm going to give them a slight pass on that. I, I don't, it wasn't my favorite part of the episode. Um, let's talk a little bit about Brainiac. So Brainy made a play in order to save his friends, right? Uh, by possibly sacrificing himself in the process. It was very fun seeing him communicate with the female Brainiac. Um, I think his storyline probably could have used a little more finessing this season. It felt like it didn't really fully form. Um, Nia also didn't really get a good wrap up. I mean, there was stuff in there between her and Brainy with the dream world and everything. But I just, I think that story, the lack of that story, the lack of time we had left in the season and the combination of the two episodes sort of made it feel almost disconnected in a weird way. Uh, but it was exciting to see Brainy sort of finally get out of the whole idea of being like a pawn for Lex. So that was fun. Speaking of Lex, La Lex was the mastermind in this finale. I don't know if it was as much his smarts that helped him 
um, or if it was just the naive nature of so many other characters, including Gemma, uh, Leviathan in general, who allowed him to get away with so much. So maybe that's the writer's fault. Maybe it's just an oversight on their part in terms of how smart or naive everyone else is. So I, I do want to, let me talk about Lex. I want to elaborate on Lex a little bit. So when John Cryer first got cast as Lex, I was very apprehensive about it because I'm like, I just don't see him as Lex Luthor. And I didn't. And so I was happy to admit that I was wrong because I actually really enjoy him as Lex. My issue here, and I mentioned this to several other people, is I almost feel like they were going to do this Leviathan storyline with these Leviathan characters. And then they were told, hey, by the way, you can use Lex too. You can use him as much as you want in the back half of the season. So then the writers were like, well, we want to take advantage of Lex because we might not get to use him like in season six or season seven or whatever. So we want to use him while we have him. So we need to find a way to make that work with the storyline with Leviathan. So then we had that twist during Crisis where Lex was able to write in like his own stuff. So then we had this new world with Lex and stuff. And then we had the really bad Lena storyline, which I did not like. So all that was going on. So as much as I love Lex and I think he was a really welcomed addition to the cast of Supergirl, I think in this season, in this finale specifically, you could see that Lex was being used almost to the point of absurdity, I think. And so we're going to kind of go with that there. Uh, and you guys let me know what you think of Lex down in the comments below. We have the William and Eve Tessmacher story, which oddly enough felt like there was a bunch of that, that missing. Like they mentioned it and then we just find him there with, with Eve. And so Supergirl has to go there and save him. And that storyline felt very chopped up. And I think that's probably one of the ones that was going to be a big B part of an episode. And they had to remove it mostly to make room for the smushing of the two episodes together. So we had that. So Eve Tessmacher is back. It seems like they're rebooting that character a little bit. So we'll have to wait and see what they're going to do with her. Not totally sure. Uh, let's talk about the VFX and combat scenes. Because out of the whole episode, I think that's something that bothered me the most. Supergirl is not known for its polished VFX. I have been very critical of Supergirl over the years. There's been so many channels that make fun of Supergirl and the special effects on Supergirl. Rightly so. Some of it is pretty bad, and I get that. So in this finale, though, there's a couple of times where the VFX are just so, 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 so bad. And I don't know, I, I don't think it's because they were being rushed because the VFX have been bad before. So this didn't feel like it was anything different from the normal, like, bad VFX that we get. I was just kind of disappointed because we're getting, we were getting close to the end here of Supergirl. And I felt like they could have just mm, pushed it a little bit more. But they didn't really, so we just had to deal with what we had. And so I just wasn't very happy with it. Uh, the only really cool VFX part that I thought was like fun to watch was when the Supergirl suit flew in that Lena sent to her and it like landed on her and then formed on her body and then she floated up. I thought that was kind of cool. That was probably my favorite VFX part of the episode. Uh, I don't have any pictures of it. I'll try and find some, I guess, after I film this and put it in in post. But Alex got a new suit that brace yourselves for this looks sad to me i'm a big alex fan alex is like one of my favorite characters on the show and at times has been my favorite character on the show that suit was just really bad it's like a combo of her old suit with like this weird um almost ren fair lace up in the front and like a green arrow hood with like the worst eye makeup i've ever seen on any of these shows it is bad it is so, like, okay, so if you're in the makeup department, please go back to the drawing board on this one and work on this look or give her a mask. It was really, really bad. I love Alex. I do. This costume is not it. This eye makeup is not it. I preferred her in her black tactical suit or in the Supergirl suit from VR. This suit that she got, just, there's nothing to it. I don't like it. It's like this updated Robin Hood look and it's not even cool so I feel really bad I need them to go back to the drawing board on the Alex suit uh, I hope I was able to find a picture so you guys can look at it over here hopefully okay so the last thing I want to touch on because it's good because I want to spend a little time talking about it is the Lena and Kara stuff it was the best bits of the finale for me uh, we finally got some emotional relief from Kara as she literally unloads her feelings on Lena like she tells Lena 
exactly what's on her mind. I've been waiting for this for a while because she's been so coy. She's been so reserved when it comes to how she feels about this whole Lena situation. And I'm like, Lena is walking all over you and all you can do is let her play the victim when there's other stuff that's happened over the time that you guys have been friends that she's never apologized for. And so seeing Lena actually react to Kara being upset and Kara being able to say how she feels about everything, I was like, this is great. This is absolutely great. I was so happy to see this, and I was so happy to see them back together as friends and working together, and that image at the end of the episode, the, the solidarity with them, like holding hands at the end and coming together uh, to face off against Lex, that was a welcomed Im image to me, and I really did appreciate it. And I thought, you know what? This may not have been the finale that they planned on, but out of all of the shows, uh, The Flash and Batwoman, right now, Supergirl's finale feels the most like a real finale to me because we've had finales where things feel rushed and tied up at the last minute. So that's not really new. It's just the way it's handled in the episode. And I think Supergirl, for the most part, handled it in a really, really, really strong way. So I really did enjoy that. I don't have much else to add. I think this was a really good finale of Supergirl. I think it's the they did a lot of uh, groundwork in terms of putting scenes together and, and things together in the episode. And I'm just glad we got the combination of Lena and Kara back together and we can move past that. And the setup for next season with Gemma and seeing that robot form and everything at the end, I think all of that is going to be exciting and I can't wait to see where they're going to go with it. So I'm going to give this Supergirl finale a really strong like 8 out of 10. Almost an 8.5 out of 10. I think it was really that good. There was just some issues with patchwork in some of the scenes, the VFX again, and some of the fight choreography, and the Leviathan storyline that I really didn't like, so that brings the score down slightly, but a very strong 8.5 out of 10, and I actually would go back and watch this episode again, and I might actually watch it this week, because I just think it's that good. So that's just my thoughts on Supergirl, the finale this season. So what I want to know from you guys is, did you enjoy this episode? Did you like it? I want you to sound off in the comments below and tell me what you think. If you watch this video all the way to the end and you enjoy what I'm doing here, give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow, and I I really love seeing the thumbs up. They're so awesome. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and become part of the Ericverse. We have a great family over here. It's a lot of fun. If you want to support the channel another way, there's the join button. Become part of Team Eric there. Check out the merch below and the links to my social media in the info box. You can get me on Twitter. You can get me on Twitch or here. Those are the main three places. So uh, with that being said, I'm out of here, guys. Sound off down below, down below, down below. Sound off down below and let me know your opinions and thoughts on the Supergirl finale, Immortal Combat. And I will catch you guys in the next video.